Hey everybody, welcome to Mission Control for a Quick Tips video. In this video, we're talking about a layout from fixture or group selection. Layouts can be made by selecting fixtures or a group or multiple groups, then clicking on an empty box slash handle in the layouts window. If a group is used and it has a group layout, the fixtures will automatically be laid out in the layout in this configuration. The layout can, of course, be edited after this if required. See more on layouts on our video on them, link in the description. To create a layout from a fixture or group selection, select the fixture or group you want in the layout, click an empty handle in the layouts window, you don't give it a legend, or if double clicking, will by default give it the name of the last group or fixture selected. Note, if using multiple groups, the layouts will be side by side, not intertwined. So let's take a look at that. Here I am, I'm version 16 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface. So, I see here I've got some groups and there everything's all laid out, so go ahead and open up my layouts window. And then I can, if we do it with groups here, we can go ahead and we'll select, oh, this group of fixtures here. And then we can double tap an empty box here. We see it gave it the name of the last selected fixtures or groups. If I was to open up this layout, we can see it has already laid them out in the layout that the group had. If I select multiple groups, say, oh, this one, this one, and this one. And I'll double click. We see this is my last selected group, it's the spider. That's the default name I gave it. And let's open up this view and we'll zoom to fit. We can see that put them all side by side instead of stacked on top of each other. Of course, we can fix that quickly just by going into our range elements from capture and apply and exit. And see that now he's laid them all out together as expected, or we could move them around if needed. If I was to open up my fixtures window, and go ahead and hit clear. If I was just to drag select across all these fixtures and then double tap an empty box, we see this is the last fixture I selected was this Robin DL7. That's the name I gave it here. And I go ahead and open up my view here. I see I put them all in one big line. Again, I can either drag them around as needed or I can do the arrange from capture again. And see that it lays them all out for us as we would expect. You can also do it with by selecting groups and uh, fixtures. So if we were to go ahead and go to our see, we'll do our back wall. We'll select all our LED 150s, and then we'll go into our workspace here, and we'll select our Qpix panels, and then we'll open up our layouts window and double tap an empty box. And you see, since the last time we selected the Qpix panels, it gave it that, and we'll go ahead and open this one, and we'll zoom out, and you see it put them again side by side, but we can also just pull from capture. And see that it laid them all out for us as we would expect. So that has been how to make a layout from either selecting groups or fixtures. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Avites US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.